So as I've been doing the whole reciprocity project um, and I've been interacting more online, I, I have realized something that I think is important. So if you don't know me, I am Professor Dave Maslach. I'm an Associate Professor of Innovation Strategy and Entrepreneurship and I created this whole reciprocity project to give back as much as I possibly can. There's so many people that help me out that I want to pay the favor for and to help you out. So as I've been doing the whole reciprocity project, I have realized, um, you know, I began sort of talking about, um, you know, really like straightforward things like research design and, you know, how to write papers, thinking about sort of really basic things. And over time, I noticed that um, whenever I talked about the human side of the research game, um, you know, dealing with your emotions, how to sort of have patience, for example, that a lot more people would pay attention to that and less people would be more interested in those particular topics. And um, what I realized is that the key to what we do, and it's not unlike any other thing, whether it being in innovation or entrepreneurship or any long, a long thing that takes a long time, um, any of that kind of stuff, it is the emotional part, it's the human part that actually matters. That's what gets you from here to there. And what I've realized is if I can sort of speak about the human side of life to get you to sort of think um, a little bit more optim uh, to, to think a little bit more positively, to think about the world is, hey, you can actually do this. If I could take a, a, you could take a little step forward. All of that kind of stuff. I realized that that is actually the more important part. And so there is actually a fine line between um, really resonating and thinking about what's the sort of emotional thing that we deal with and sort of getting to the sort of fluff, fluff, rah, rah kind of stuff. And it's not really the area that I wanted to ever get into. And trust me, it's like um, challenging to, to get into those areas. But I realized like over and over and over again, that is the key part. That's, that's the missing variable that we really need is just to have somebody there whether it's somebody um, from another part of the world, um, you know, somebody that you don't know, this kook on the internet, just saying, you know, you could do this. It just takes one more step every day, taking the one little step, and it doesn't matter what that little step looks like, and it doesn't matter, you know, how people are, you know, putting you down or you don't feel smart enough. Um, all of those things. It doesn't matter at the end of the day. The only thing that matters is you actually just keep putting in the work day in and day out. And the more that I've actually talked about this and is open about it with my own struggles and realize that, man, this is, it is hard. I think about all of the times where I felt the worst. It's the emotional part of things. It's not the actual effort. It's not going through and doing things and actually putting in the work. It's all of the other emotional stuff that, you know, just doesn't line up that maybe it's, you can't get a job. You know, that was my experience when I started. It was really hard to get a job. You know, maybe it is it's something that you're working on. It's just not working right. The analysis that you're doing or how you're writing things up or whatever, you know, whatever it is in your life, is just not working right. All of those things is what sort of drives me to feel bad. Or maybe it's, you know, political stuff that's going on or somebody that's close to you is not making you feel good. All of those kind of things are the key things that um, actually do matter. It has nothing to do with the sort of bigger thing side of things. This is the reason why people quit. The reason why people get out is because of all of those sort of soft things. So if I can encourage you to keep taking those steps forward, you know, one after the other, after the other, and just demonstrate t day in and day out, that's all it is, is one more step. And focusing on the positive part of things, 
you, there is a lot of down, there's a lot of things that are not great. There's lots of things that are really tough. There's tons of those things, but there's also a lot of really positive things. And if you fo focus on all of those positive things that happen to your life, you know, and you share the, you share the positivity, you share making yourself feel better and, and being there for other people. I mean, you do that over and over again, things get a lot better in your life. And if I could just reiterate the importance of you being there for other people and being open about your own struggles, that is, that's, that's, that's it. That, that is, that's the thing that makes all of this work. And, um, you know, you're filling in the gaps where you are um, being there for somebody else. And the thing is, you know, I'm, I'm specifically talking about research and, you know, doing the career of, as an academic, I'm specifically talking about that. But even if you switch to something else, the only difference is that you're working in a different context and maybe you have additional support. Maybe you have more resources so it doesn't feel as intense, for example, and you're not fighting and in, in sort of having the political infighting for for resources but if you take a step back and you say hey you know what i'm okay and other people can fight for all of that stuff and yes they will get ahead and yes they will they will be you know well known and all of that jazz for their you know for getting ahead but if i could step back and be confident and okay with myself and be happy with what i'm doing i think that is a better outcome i think if you compare two people, if you compared one person that became well-known because of the, the not great behaviors that they did, a time in and time out, versus somebody that's just happy with themselves and happy with how they turned out and pleasant deep down inside, I think I would choose the latter every time. I would choose the person that is happy with themselves and and, and, and actually lives a fulfilled life that they feel feel is fulfilled, not the one that is externally successful to everybody else. That life is miserable. That is a miserable life. Now, if you can combine those two and create some sort of synergy between actually doing things that you're happy about and maybe eventually become successful because of that, I think that that is a nice outcome. But to me, I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about how can I be a better me every day and not worry about everybody else. The, every time that I think somebody else is better than me or some, all of that social comparison stuff, every single time I feel bad about myself. But if I focus on me and I focus on my amazing family that's, that's around me, um, the fact that, that that I do have a family um, that's around me and, you know, that I am okay inside, I think I feel better every single time. So if I can get you to do one thing, just be okay with you being you and do that over and over and over again. All right. Take care and have a wonderful day.